For centuries, Stoic philosophers have taught us the power of controlling our reactions, of finding peace within ourselves. In this video, we will delve into the wisdom of Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher whose teachings have resonated throughout time. His 18 principles for inner strength offer a roadmap to navigating life's challenges with grace and fortitude. We will explore how these principles can be applied to our modern lives, helping us cultivate resilience, purpose, and enduring happiness. This video will be your guide to understanding and implementing these principles. We'll learn how to be strong, not by flexing our muscles or shouting from the rooftops, but by not letting the external world pierce our inner peace. The world is full of noise, everyone clamouring to be heard, to share their opinions, their anxieties, their desires. But true wisdom often lies in silence, in the act of listening. When you listen, truly listen, you open yourself up to a wealth of knowledge and understanding. You learn from the experiences of others, gleaning insights from their successes and failures. You develop empathy, the ability to see the world through different lenses. And in doing so, you cultivate a deeper understanding of yourself and your place in the world. Life is unpredictable. It throws curveballs when you least expect it. By mentally preparing for the worst case scenario, you disarm its power to cripple you with fear and anxiety. Imagine the student diligently preparing for an exam. They've studied tirelessly, anticipated potential questions, and even visualized themselves succeeding. This mental preparation, this embrace of potential challenges, equips them to face the exam with a calm focus. They've already confronted their fear of failure. And in doing so, they freed themselves to perform at their best. Failure is not the antithesis of success. It's an integral part of the journey. Think of a child learning to walk. How many times do they tumble, stumble and fall before they take their first confident steps? Each fall is not a setback. It's a lesson learned a stepping stone on the path to mastery. Consider the story of J.K. Rowling, the author of the beloved Harry Potter series. Her manuscript was rejected by numerous publishers before finding a home. Each rejection, though painful, served as a crucible, refining her craft and strengthening her resolve. Wealth, like a powerful current, can sweep you away from your values, your principles, the very essence of who you are. It's easy to become seduced by its allure, to equate material possessions with happiness and fulfilment. But true wealth lies not in what you own, but in who you are. Think of individuals like Warren Buffett or Bill Gates, individuals who have amassed unimaginable fortunes, yet remain grounded in their philanthropy and commitment to making the world a better place. They understand that True wealth is measured not by bank accounts, but by the positive impact you have on the world. Don't place all your hopes and aspirations in a single basket. Life is full of unexpected twists and turns. What if that one dream, that singular focus of your energy, doesn't come to fruition? Despair can easily set in, leaving you feeling lost and directionless. Instead, Cultivate a portfolio of dreams, a collection of passions and pursuits that excite and inspire you. Imagine an entrepreneur who, after pouring their heart and soul into a startup, faces setbacks and ultimately decides to pursue a different path. Because they've nurtured other interests, they can pivot with resilience, drawing strength from the knowledge that life offers multiple avenues for fulfillment. The awareness of our finite existence, while seemingly morbid, can be a powerful motivator. When we remember that our time on this earth is limited, it injects a sense of urgency into our lives. We become less inclined to waste precious time on trivial pursuits or to postpone our dreams. 
Knowing that our days are numbered encourages us to savour each moment, to nurture our relationships and to live a life of purpose and meaning. True wealth resides not in the abundance of possessions, but in the state of your soul. It's about finding contentment in the present moment, appreciating the simple joys that life has to offer. It's about cultivating gratitude for the roof over your head, the food on your table, and the loved ones in your life. True wealth is about experiencing the world with a heart filled with gratitude finding joy in the ordinary and appreciating the beauty that surrounds you. Humility is not about thinking less of yourself. It's about thinking of yourself less. It's about recognizing that you don't have all the answers, that there's always more to learn and that every person you encounter has something valuable to teach you. Humility allows you to approach the world with an open mind and a willingness to learn. It's a key ingredient for personal growth. It's easy to blame others for our misfortunes, to see ourselves as victims of circumstance, but this externalization of responsibility robs us of our power. It keeps us trapped in a cycle of blame and resentment. True strength lies in taking ownership of our actions both good and bad. When we acknowledge our mistakes, we empower ourselves to learn from them and to make better choices in the future. We are profoundly influenced by the company we keep. Surround yourself with negative, pessimistic individuals and their toxicity will seep into your own life. But cultivate relationships with those who radiate positivity who approach life with optimism and a can-do spirit, and their energy will become contagious. Choose your companions wisely, for they have the power to shape your thoughts, your beliefs, and ultimately, your destiny. Life is a series of events. Some are pleasant, some are challenging, and some are downright unpleasant. We can't control the events that unfold, but we can control our reactions to them. Our reactions, not the events themselves, hold the power to make or break us. Imagine being cut off in traffic. You could react with anger, honking your horn and stewing in frustration. Or you could choose to react with calmness, accepting the situation and moving on. The choice is yours. We all have roles to play in this life, responsibilities to fulfill. These duties might include our families, our communities or our work. Embracing these duties, rather than viewing them as burdens, is essential for living a meaningful and fulfilling life. When we fulfill our duties, we contribute to something larger than ourselves. We become part of a collective endeavour and this sense of purpose can bring a deep sense of satisfaction. The world is full of opinions, judgments and criticisms. If we allow ourselves to be swayed by every negative comment or disapproving glance, we'll forever be held captive to the court of public opinion. True freedom comes from recognising that other people's opinions are just that. Opinions. They don't define you unless you allow them to. In a world obsessed with material possessions and fleeting pleasures, simplicity can be a radical act. It's about paring back, decluttering our lives of the unnecessary and focusing on what truly matters. Simplicity isn't about deprivation, it's about liberation. It's about freeing ourselves from the tyranny of consumerism and the endless pursuit of more. We are not passive passengers on the river of life. We are the captains of our own ships. We have the power to choose our course, to adjust our sails, and to navigate the inevitable storms. Don't relinquish your power to external forces or allow others to dictate your emotions. You are in control. True friends are rare and precious gifts. They are the family we choose, the people who stand by us through thick and thin, 
offering unwavering support and love. Nurture these relationships for they are the bedrock of a meaningful life. In a world that often feels transient and superficial, true friendships provide a sense of belonging, a safe harbour where we can be our authentic selves without judgment. Even in the darkest of times, a glimmer of hope, a silver lining can always be found. It might be a lesson learned, a newfound strength, or a moment of unexpected grace. Cultivating an attitude of gratitude, a willingness to look for the good in every situation, no matter how dire, can transform our perspective and help us navigate challenges with resilience. We can expend an inordinate amount of energy worrying about things that are beyond our control. The weather, the economy, the actions of others. This worry is not only futile, but also a source of unnecessary stress and anxiety. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control our thoughts, our actions, our reactions. By focusing on our own sphere of influence, we reclaim our power and position ourselves to make a positive impact on the world. Remember, strength isn't about never feeling pain. It's about not letting pain control you. By following these 18 principles, you can become like the tree in the storm, steady, strong, and deeply rooted. Let's choose resilience and live a life of quiet strength. Thanks for watching and stay strong in your journey. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos on inner strength and personal growth. See you next time.